everyone. My name is Samantha Wilcox. I am one of the program managers here at Camp Edmo, and today we are going to be making a recycled robot. The motive for this project is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. That is why we're going to be highlighting it for our Earth Day project this year. You can use any supplies that you have at home for this. This is very much use what you have. Some supplies that I'm going to be using are cardboard. If you have boxes, even better. I have some boxes. They've just got pasta in them, so something that you could do is easily use a box to be a robot head, a robot torso, something like that. I've got some duct tape, some scissors, some markers, and last but not least, some aluminum foil. Again, this is purely my robot. If you have other things, if you want to use stickers, if you want to use boxes, cardboard tubes are a great option, tissue boxes are a really cool robot head. There are so many options. This is a limitless, there are so many ways that you can go with this. So without further ado, let's get started on one of the robots. I'm gonna be starting with a piece of cardboard and this is a little too large for a head or a torso for me. So I'm gonna use my scissors to cut it into a smaller piece. My head. And as, and I want my robot to be kind of shiny. I want it to have that metallic look. So that's where the foil is gonna come in. So I'm gonna rip some foil and I am going to wrap my cardboard, my robot head in foil. Now this is a great project for you to literally raid your recycling. If you have some fun looking things and you're recycling, you might have boxes, cardboard tubes, you may have plastic bottles, anything like that, that is fair game for this project. So here is my robot head, but that looks kind of boring because there's no face. So I'm going to use my duct tape, orange, pretty awesome, to make some features for my robot. Here's gonna be an eye. Here's another eye. And my mouth. I'm gonna kind of rip it down that way. Here is my robot. Oh, some foil come off in the back, that's okay. Here is the my robot head. Now we're going to be working on our robot body. So I'm gonna put my head to the side for right now. I am very much open to ideas for robot names. I've done Bob the robot in the past, but you know, very open to fan suggestions on that front. Now I'm gonna take my body, which is the scratch from that cardboard and wrap it up also in foil. And this does not need to be perfect, you know? If there are a little bit, if there's a little bit of ripped foil, if there's a little bit of, you know, overlap or something like that that doesn't meet your vision, that's okay. Because the beauty of this project is that it is all recycled material. And so if it doesn't look perfect, that's okay. So here's my robot body. It's crazy what a little bit of tin foil can do. So now I want to attach this to my robot. Now, I think I want to make a neck for my guy, for Bob. Let's call him Bob for right now. I'm going to cut for my second piece of cardboard, a small scrap, which is going to be my neck. And I'm going to attach it with some duct tape as well. Orange duct tape makes everything better. There we go, there's my neck. I'm not gonna cover this one in uh, foil. I could, but I'm not really feeling it. There we go. I wanna do this.
Here is our robot. And now if I wanna be really awesome, I'm gonna be making some arms and some legs. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna cut some strips of cardboard. This is also a great option if you wanna use those cardboard tubes, those paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls. I just don't happen to have any of those right with me right now. So that's the beauty of this. We are going to adapt the materials that we have on hand so that we can effectively reuse materials and make it look awesome regardless of what we're coming in with. So I've got my arms and legs, I've got four. So I am going to cover these in foil because I think that's just gonna look awesome. Ripping foil is kind of hard. That's a good, that's a great rip, Samantha. That's a great one. We're gonna make do though. That's the point. Here's one in here. I'm going to cut this one in half actually so that it can both arm and so that it can be two arms. Using less materials, everyone. So I'm now going to attach it with some duct tape. When I used to be a maker instructor at in-person camp, I would walk around with a roll of duct tape around my wrist. It was my favorite accessory. It works for everything. Every crafting project can be elevated with some duct tape. Bonus points if it's creative colors like the one I have today. But here's Bob looking feisty. Now let's give him his legs to so them. Again, an amazing rip. That's okay. Gets the job done. It's less foil. Am I right? We're gonna cut this in half. And there are our legs, which we are going to attach to the bottom of our torso for our robot. This is an amazing project for Earth Day, like I said, because we are reducing what we are throwing away by repurposing it. We're reusing our, what was once trash, we are reusing it to make something awesome and we are recycling. Recycling means to use it again, basically, to recycle it so that it doesn't go into the trash and landfill. So here is our amazing robot, which was made from all recycled materials. And this would have, all of these materials would have gone into the trash had we not made this today. But now this can be an awesome little creation that we can have forever and, and cherish. So thank you so much for joining me, my friends today. I hope to see you for other Edmo projects very soon. And I hope that you also celebrate responsibly on this Earth Day. Peace out. We're gonna do an Edmo out on three. One, two, three, Edmo out. Bye everyone.